Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Today I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about Godfall's crafting system. Um, this is something that I don't really see talked about at all, and I feel like most of the things are really just negative towards the game doesn't have a lot of content, the game doesn't have, or more so the end game is very repetitive, and this is all true to an extent, but I really want to talk about the crafting because this is kind of what keeps me playing the game after I'm done with the campaign. So, before we start, I want to just explain that you're essentially going to be crafting gear based off of what frame you're running and based off of what build you're running, right? So these are all the different frames and we won't go into them right now. Um, my character is built around crit, crit damage, and weakness. Weakness being revealing weak points on enemies and hitting those weak points for extra damage. So, to get started, let's talk about tiers of items. In Godfall, you have five tiers of items. Common, Uncommon, Rare, Epic, and Legendary. Among those, you have different base types of weapons. So here's an item level 29 Vord weapon. I'm just going to call it Vord because I can't pronounce it. So Vord automatically rolls the same primary every time, which is Soul Shatter. I believe the damage of the Soul Shatter is based on the Rarity tier, aka Legendary to Common, and the item level requirement. So here is a item level 36 Vord, um, which has the same primary, but it is much higher on the physical, and it's not even upgraded. So that's a good example of that, right? There's a lot of different weapon base types. So this is a physical base with Soul Shatter. This is a water base with Health on Chill. This is a banner, well, it's an Earth base with Banner Charge. This one is a water base with over health. This is a uh, fire base with time bubble. This one is a earth base with blessing of endurance. And I mean, I'm sure there's a, here's another one. Here is a soul shatter with earth. That's kind of similar, but for the most part, they're a little different. Now, the crafting in this game is a little cool. So essentially you can craft five of your six slots. That means you can craft weapons, life stones, rings, charms, amulets, and banners, not augments. Augments are complete RNG when they drop, but you can run endgame content that might say like guarantees an, an augment that's critical based. So you can kind of mitigate it a little bit late game farming. So let's talk about the actual crafting and what the point of it is. So as you, I explained before, there's a bunch of different frames for a bunch of different builds, right? So this guy as an example is breach damage. Uh, this guy is chance to chill. This is, uh, th this guy is soul shatter, I think. This one is Phoenix, so that's fire-based. We've got another one that's Chance to Bleed. We've got Chance to Curse, and then a couple other over there. When you go over here to this person, or this thing, you have the ability to not only upgrade an item, but also enchant the item. So if we look at this weapon I have here, this one has Polarity, Polarity, and Weak Point Damage. I don't use Polarity, so unfortunately, two of those stats are kind of bricked for me. I don't really gain benefit. The Weak Point Damage is massive for me, though. Uh, this weapon over here has Bleed, Polarity, and Crit. So again, two useless stats for me. So how would I go about upgrading my equipment? Well, at this point in the game, what I would be looking for, if I'm sticking with Physical, right, which I, I don't actually want that because the Soul Shatter is bad for me, but anyway... What you could do is you run, you know, five to 10 maps, takes you what, an hour and a half. You look at all of your gear. You wanna find the base equipment that you're looking for. So in this instance, let it, let us use the uh, the Flaccid Longsword as a good base. So the Flaccid Longsword will always roll weapon technique charge speed and it will always be physical. Now you have the option to enchant it. By enchanting, you will increase the rarity tier and add a secondary trait. So let's say, since we're scaling weapon technique charge speed, we want either physical damage, weapon technique charge speed, uh, weapon technique damage, or maybe something crit oriented on this enchant. So let's go ahead and enchant it. We got polarity attack damage. Always fucking polarity. So that would be useless for us. So as an example here, we would just immediately salvage it, move on, and try again. Except you're doing this with all of your different pieces of gear. It's not just one piece of gear. Among all of the different things, you have all of these different base types that you can keep on crafting with. So you have the chance of dropping a legendary and using it right as, or you could simply upgrade a piece of gear all the way from the beginning, all the way up to legendary with the three desired stats, and you have an insane character as an example. Um, so like the one I have right now, I have a 34% critical hit chance and critical hit damage primary effect with takedown. Well, actually all the other three things are useless. But 
this primary effect for me is so strong that I don't want to replace this unless I find another Archon's tier. And if I find another Archon's tier, I will automatically essentially start crafting it, trying to get something better. So then going to the rings. I'm running weak point rings because weak point is massive for me. You can see here I did not upgrade the rarity because rampage bonus damage is kind of useless for me because I'm not running rampage. I could upgrade it again, it's not really a problem, but you get the basics of, of essentially how this crafting works. Then going onto the charms, we've got the same thing. So I've got um, an ash meteorite, which will always roll might to my knowledge. Then on weak point, it shoots a physical damage. And then you can see I upgraded it and enhanced the weak point damage there. Uh, under the amulet, I've got actually a really bad amulet let's not talk about that and even even your banners can be customized um so like as an example here this one rolled weapon technique damage and soul shatter buildup so even though it's level 30 i don't want this i'm literally using a level 18 piece because of the critical hit chance that's associated on there because it greatly benefits me now augments are where it gets a little different Augments are actually really cool in this game, and it's a part that I don't see people talking about. This has nothing to do with crafting, but since I'm already here, I guess we'll just continue and talk about it. So each frame has different slots for different augments. And this is this is the main difference in where the, the frames come from, is different frames will favor different types of setups, not just based off of what the frame gives you, but based off of what slots the frame has available. So red means it's gotta be might based. Green means it's gonna be vitality based. Blue means it's going to be spirit-based. White means I believe you can put anything. But there's a lot of really, really interesting augments within this. So as an example, um, let's use a cool one here. Where is where's one of the fun ones? Can we sort by a rarity? Sort by a rarity. Oh, was I on rarity already? Here's like a legendary. During Rampage, your attacks cannot be interrupted if adjacent augments grant at least 300 might. Um... Gain one lifestone charge whenever you activate Archon Fury if adjacent augments gain uh, grant at least 300 spirit. Uh, There's another cool one I had. 2% shield damage for every 20 spirit on adjacent augments. I, I think this is actually pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. Um, so overall, I'm pretty happy. The crafting in this game is pretty cool. Uh, it really reminds me of like Path of Exile crafting. It's pretty... Simp it, well, let's not talk about Path of Exile actually. Uh... I like the stats, I guess you could say. The stat crafting is pretty good. I guess I look at it like Path of Exile because it's like, in Path of Exile, you get a gear, you, you know, alt trans, regal, if it's not good, you scour. In this one, you just get a new base and you just keep on going. Um, so that's kind of something that's pretty nice. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of show you guys this little sneak peek about the crafting since I really feel like nobody is talking about this. And even though it's pretty simple, it still room, or makes room for a lot of min-maxing for really finishing off your character. Because I understand, like, it can be pretty boring running the same content over and over, but at least if you're running the same content looking for specific items, it, it makes it a bit more fun playing through the game. Anyway, though, take care. You guys have a wonderful time. I'll catch you guys all later. Don't forget, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash pox. We will have some highlights from this game probably in a couple of days. So take care, everybody.